Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. This game, uh, I've been playing for a little while, and it's uh, kind of popular out there. Been uh, streaming this one. I think I'm, like, at a level 7 now. So we're going to load up our game, uh, and I'm at better. I have a fame of 1. 1 Michelin star. Let's go ahead and load this, and uh, we'll continue from here. Um, it's, it's a pretty goofy game as far as the physics go. You can't take it 100% serious, but you can surely try. Welcome to my kitchen. This is the one that I've been operating out of. Uh, skip preparation phase. Okay, so we're ready for um, prep. Uh, and we don't know what we're going to get. Lately, it's been uh, tuna steaks. It's been um, the worst one ever, which is pork chops and potatoes. Uh, I cannot cut those up for the life of me. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and pumpkin soup. And uh, we've been getting some uh, tomato soup as well. So I... Been trying to keep this kitchen pretty clean, um, but no promises. Let's uh, let's start the day. Let's do it. I'm ready. I am ready for your stuff. Earn 20 cooking points for 55 XP. New order. Order up. Okay, here we go. Yes, uh, big trout. 200 grams of the trout. Uh, and we have it right here in our refrigerator. Pull it out. Um, you know, I'm just going to set it down right here right now because I don't like refrigerator doors open whenever I'm trying to work. Uh, it's a five, five, and five. Black time dill. So I'll just go black five, uh, time and dill. We'll put this on here. Uh, one more for love. There we go. Uh, black time and dill. And then uh, we'll be ready to move that to the baking sheet. Okay, big lag spike there. Not sure what that was about. First one of the day, I suppose. Uh, okay. And we need the time. The time is right here. Or sorry, the dill. Sorry. That was time. What we just used. All right. How's everybody doing this week so far? Been enjoying uh, the uh, Washington DLC for uh, America Truck Sim. What am I doing? It's You know what I could do? I can just take this cookie sheet and put it up here. Come on. Ooh. No. Some of the physics, not the greatest. Definitely not the greatest. Okay. So this sucker goes in there for how long? Uh, 90 seconds. Let's do it. 90 seconds. You go. You can go, you go in there. Come on. Oh, you're not going to do it, are you? Nope. They're going to make me take the baking sheet out and do it that way. Let's hurry up. We have no more time to waste. Uh, throw that on there. Grab you. Grab you. You go on there. Take the whole baking sheet. Here we go. 90 seconds. Yes. Boom. Boom. And we need to do 90 seconds. So we'll hit uh, E to start the timer. We have 60, 70, 80, 90. Set it and forget it. All right, now we can get the uh, lemon wedges going. That's uh, pretty much all we have to do. Grab a lemon here, and we'll set it on this. Grab our knife, and uh, I have a perk that slows down time on this, which is pretty cool. We want to cut it into quarters, so boom, and then uh, boom, and that's going to cut it. So if I, if I don't put this down and set this down and move this lemon, uh, it's going to be a disaster. So we're going to do it this way instead. This is how I do it. There we go. Those were good lemon wedges, I've got to say. You only need four of those. That's what they need. Parsley garnish. Six grams of that. We're just waiting on the trout now. So you don't have to just go off of this to kind of know how it's cooked. Um, I'll show you. When I open the door, I can check out the trout, and it'll tell me how much further it has to cook. So that's okay. How are we looking here? We are uh, four minutes and 35. We're going to be just fine real early on this dish. Uh, unless another one comes in. Uh, other things you have to do is keep up with your kitchen. So when you start seeing these uh, big rust spots occur, um, you're going to notice that it is going to need repairing. So to repair it, you come over here and Reparo. You grab the phone. You walk the phone over there and you hit the little uh, wrench symbol. We might have to see that. I don't know yet. Another thing that's very alarming to me is sour cream is not refrigerated. You don't. You can't put it in the refrigerator. I personally don't like sour cream, but that's just me. Okay, yeah, we know. We know. So let me show you here. Uh, cut that off. I'm sure that's going to be just fine. See how the trout, how it's all green on the, uh, on the little bar there? That's good. I have a perk so I can uh, handle really hot stuff, so that's good. Pull that out. We'll set this over here. Let's get ourselves a chair. Or a chair. <laughs> a plate. A plate and chair. Yep, same thing, right? Hurry up, hurry up, up, up. There we go. We'll put you on there. You go right there. I'll uh, get the lemon wedges on there as well. And then we'll go grab ourselves some of that parsley. Beautiful, beautiful parsley. 
Lemon wedges. Man, we did good on the lemon wedges today. That's usually uh, a little difficult. Um, yeah, it's just uh, six sprigs of the parsley. So that's uh, going to be three of those, I believe. Uh, the parsley, the three. Yeah, two, four, and six. Done. Walking. Trout to the window. Here we go. And serve. Baked trout. What did we get on that? Come on. Five stars, baby. Yes, that's what I like to see. All right. Baked trout was done. Any guess complaints? Absolutely not, because we just crushed it on that one. We're ready for the next order. Come on. No more waiting around. Oh, new order. Here we go. Yes, uh, salmon, steak, and boiled potatoes. Boiled potatoes. And, okay, let's, let's let's get that going. Uh, the salmon steak isn't going to take too long, but I'll, you're going to get to see how uh, fun this is. Put that away. I like a little bit of, uh, of uh, order here in the kitchen. Okay, here we go. Salmon fillet. Let's get a fillet. Where's my salmon fillet? Right there. There we go. Oh, uh, when you do the tutorial in this game, it, it, the, the person looks just like Gordon Ramsay, and his name is Gordon. Okay, five and five. So salt and pepper on the salmon. Five and five. There we go. That's good there. Just set that right there. We got the black pepper next. And it actually will show up on here. You see the spots of the uh, the black pepper. Was that enough, black pepper? How much? I don't know if we had enough there. Uh, let me put too much. Too much pepper on that, perhaps. Uh, you know what we need to do? Get the pan going. I think it's 10 milliliters, if memory serves correct, on this dish. 10 mils for you, I believe so. Uh, bring you over here. Put the sunflower oil in here. I like sunflower oil. It's pretty good stuff. And we want 8, then 10. There we go. Put you up there. Let's get that sucker going. Get it nice and hot. Not you. Not you. You. There we go. That's going. Let's get this thing. Is it 60 seconds aside? You would, you'd think I, I've actually cooked this before. All right, 60 seconds per side. We already know that. Let's go to this. Uh, yep, that'll work. Set you up there. Let's get these potatoes going. Let's get the potatoes going. Big pot here. I think it's uh, a liter of water. A liter of cola. I'm going to fill it up. There we go. That is good enough for me. And then we need to put, uh, I believe, 20 grams of salt is what it calls for. 20 grams and then potatoes. Yep, that's what it is. Potatoes, 20 in here. We might be a little too much black pepper. Oh, d -d 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 <sighs> I got a little, little, uh, little <laughs> carried away with that one too. All right, potatoes are down here. We need two potatoes, one and two. And we're going to boil these for, I think, 100 and something seconds here on this one. What is it? 120, 120 on this guy. So let's use this timer for that. 120, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20. Two minutes total, if you're bad at math. All right, how are we looking here on the... And you see how the salmon's good to go? It's, it's pretty much ready to be flipped. And, yep. Let's get our spatula. This is where it can all go wrong right here. It can all go wrong right here. Come on. Come on. Aim it down a little bit. Aim it down a little bit. And ahead and pick it up. And we got to flip it here. Here we go. And flip. Nailed it. Okay, oh, we hear it. Man, that is so obnoxiously loud, isn't it? I do not like these things. Shut up. 60 seconds for you. Let's go. And, and see right here, if I hover over it, you're seeing how that green bar is filling up over the L's. That's what that means. All right, how's our potatoes coming along? They're coming along nice. They're cooking. They're cooking. We're looking good here. Just uh, that, and it's going to be a regular plate for that for plating. Let's grab a plate. And we'll be good. Now, sometimes you can get orders uh, that come through multiple orders. You can have multiple orders going at once. Now, a big thing I really wish was in this game is multiplayer. This would be a fun multiplayer game, you know, to call out in the kitchen uh, and have, like, a brigade style going. That would be pretty neat. You'd have, like, a fish station. You'd have, you know, uh, garnish and, and so on and so forth and meats. That would be pretty neat. Salmon's almost done. Waiting for it to be done. And as you can see right there. It is almost there. It's completely done now. Uh, just a few more seconds on that guy. And four, three, two, and stop. Turn you off. Just go ahead and kill you. Don't need you anymore. You're ready to be plated. So we're going to pick you up and we're going to put you over here on the plate. All right, potatoes, you about done? Potatoes almost done. Look at that. We're almost there. How are we looking? We're uh, three minutes and 59. We we're looking great on this one. Probably about uh, 20 seconds to the window. Let's do it. Let's do it. Pick this up. You can pull those potatoes straight on out of there, which is wonderful. 
once they are ready to go. That one's done and done. So you come up here. You come up here. We'll get that. No. Oh, oh, careful. Don't drop the potatoes. All right. Walking. We're good. Send it. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, almost got it. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, it was just, it was the black pepper, I bet you. Watch. Gets complaints. Uh, so, too much salt. We kind of knew that was going to be. And heating mistakes on the filet. Yeah, because I didn't get in the center of that pan. Ah, that's all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Shut up. Shut up. All right. Ready for our next order. New order. Oh, we're going to screw this up big time. Grilled tuna steak. Where are you at, tuna? You're on the other side. Come on, big tuna. Oh, and we have some other stuff, too. Is that tomato soup? It might be tomato soup. I don't know. Uh, put you on there. Close you. Is that tomato soup? It is tomato soup, and I already know how to do that, so that's going to be fun. Um, let's get things going. We need uh, grilled uh, steak here. That's going to be uh, salt in. So, so five and five on this guy. Five and five. Let's try not to screw it up this time, right? One, two, three, four, five, which is fun. We get to use the actual uh, grill on this one. Five and five. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Happy with that. Okay. Uh, grilled for 80, 80 seconds per side. Let's do it. 80 seconds per side. There we go. 80 seconds. Put it on here. 60, 70, 80. Set that up there. All right. That's per side. Transfer on the plate. Serve hot. And then we need the lemons into 20 gram uh, things. And then oregano. Okay. So the lemons are a little difficult on this one. I've never gotten a good uh, score on this. I really haven't. Um, slow down time. If I could turn back time. Because you can't angle it. Um, unfortunately, you can rotate it, but you can't angle it, which kind of sucks because you can't get those perfect slices you know you're trying to get out of lemons. Uh, those will do. Those will have to do. I mean, what are you going to do? All right, so let's get the soup going. Chicken broth. 700 mils of chicken broth. Uh, you come up here. We don't need you on heat anymore. I'm so sorry about that. Chicken broth. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Okay, we're going to need 700 of that. Is that what it said? 700 mils. Let's just go ahead and grab this one because we know we'll have plenty on this. We have a liter here. 700 mils. This is this is what takes so damn long. Let's drop that in there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. 600. Oop. Be, there we go. I'm happy with that. Okay, that's good. How are we looking on those, that tuna steak over there? Uh, 700 salt, 12. Salt is 12. How's that tuna looking? Tuna looks good. Ready to flip it. Let's do it. Come on, flip it. Flip, 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 flip. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't. No, you don't. There we go. That's what we want to do. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Was it 80 seconds? 80 seconds per side. 80 seconds per side. Uh, 60, 70, 80. Okay. We're good. Back to what we were doing. It's uh, 12 grams of salt uh, and you... Uh, and then 12 of black pepper. So 12 grams of salt, 12 grams of black pepper. This is how I run my kitchen. Just, uh, it's, it's in, always in dis disarray. Like, that's just what it is. What are you going to do? All right. 12 of you. There we go. 12 grams of you. All right. Tuna steak's still going. Looking good there. Uh, cayenne is six. Cayenne pepper, six. Six grams of cayenne. Let's do that. Uh, throw you in here. Don't want to be too much on that. That that's spicy stuff, man. That that'll burn their mouths off. All right, we're good on that. Uh, and then onions. So we have, we just needed tomatoes and onions. So I just usually do eight tomatoes and an onion, and it's usually pretty decent. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and an onion. Throw an onion in there. There we go. That's what they want. Sweet. We're gonna put this on here. We're gonna put it on heat. Heat. For how long is it? It's uh, 60 seconds is all it takes on this one. 60 seconds. We got that. Okay. Start the timer. We're going to be a little shy on that one. We'll keep an eye on it. How's that tuna steak? It's almost ready. It is done, my friends. It is done. We're going to give it a little extra cook on it. That looks good to me. Turn that off. Kill you. Throw you on here. Tuna steak, you're done, man. Let's put you on. Oh, I don't have you on plate yet. Oops. Oopsies. Grab the plate. And let's get this going. You come up here like that. Uh, I need my two lemon wedges. Yep, you and you will work fine. Oh, don't you lose that lemon wedge. Uh, and garnish with an oregano twig of eight grams of that. Eight grams of oregano down here below. Don't lose it. Uh, so we got 
One and two. There we go. Walking with tuna steak. Take it to the pass. Come on. Let's go with it. Grilled tuna steak. There you go. What do we get? Oh, terrible taste. Terrible overall score. Oh, no. What was it? Uh, heating mistakes. Real Okay. I mean, I didn't think we did that terrible. I don't know what happened there. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You just keep going. All right. We're at six seconds on that one. Let's get this guy going. Bring it down into here. We can just go into here and then we go down and we just do all this. Mix that up nice and good. There we go. Take you out. Put you on here. Shut you up. We don't need you anymore. And then it's uh, how much on there of sour cream? 150 mils of sour cream. Do we have enough in there? Hell no, we don't. Let's just buy some more. We you know we're no we already know we're gonna need it. We already know we're gonna need it. So buy that. 150 mils of this crap. I really don't like sour cream. You know this now. 150. That's so much sour cream. Why would you put sour cream in tomato soup? But I mean, you know what? Maybe that's what they like. What the? Okay, I think that was enough there. Um, if you don't, if you when you stop pouring it, it, it suctions it out, and I do not like that. Uh, deep plate. That's what it is. Serve hot. You got it. Deep plate. Deep dish. Deep dish pizza. Put that on here, and now this is where it gets tricky because we have to pick this up and pour it ourselves into the bowl. Like this. And you get it where you where you think it's gonna go, and then you pour. There we go. We want three hundred. There we go. That's pretty pretty decent, actually. Alright, let's see what we got here. Walking with the soup. Up. And uh boom, boom. Come on, five stars. Oh, shy on the taste. Man, we're screwing up on that taste, man. What happened there? Uh not not enough onion and not enough tomato. What? Oh, okay. Maybe they maybe they changed the recipe on me. I don't know. Throw the lemon away. We don't need you. Chuck you in the bin. Uh, you go in the bin. Now, what I used to oh, this is the one I'm telling you about. This is the worst one ever. Um, what I was telling you before is with this stuff, it, or I haven't told you this yet, but I used to just dump it right here and it would just get over everything. You can literally come over here to the bin and chuck it in the bin. How about that? Isn't that wonderful? We, have, we do have to wash them when we're done with them, though. Otherwise, it'll remember the uh, old taste, which is bad. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll definitely wash those if we need them. Uh, okay, so it's a pork chop. I've never got this one to, to go well because of the cutting technique. Uh, grab you, porky. Porky, porky, three on there. Close this. All right. Okay, so... Four and four and six. Four, four, six. Four of you. All the way over here. Three, four. There we go. Then we got uh, salt and then more of that. There we go. Four of you. Uh, and then, yeah, the time is the other one. Time dried. And that is the six. Lots of time on that. Oh, man. Lag spike on the time. Why? Why you do that? There we go. Set you down. Sweet. Uh, sunflower oil is 30 mils on this one. 30 mils. And we have to clean this pan. Otherwise, they will complain. Oh, my God. I have it on warp speed. Uh, otherwise, they will complain. They will complain about it. There we go. Oh, I made a mess there. But we can just dump that. That's okay. Uh, that should be good. I, well, I'm going to make sure that it's... Um, Make sure that it's looking clear. Okay, that's that's much better. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's let's dump that, and then we can get this going. So it's only ten on this guy, uh, of sunflower oil. No wait, it's thirty on this one. It's more, thirty mils. Probably almost out of this stuff. There we go. Thirty mils for you. Pork chop goes in for how long? It goes in for ninety seconds a side. Ninety seconds a side. In you go. Ninety seconds. There we go. All right. We can get the other stuff going. The potatoes. Now, it wants 300 grams of potatoes, which I wish it would just tell you, like, how many potatoes you actually want. It's uh, two and a half because they're 150 each. All right. One. And then we got two. Now, these are not so simple. And three. One. Two and a half potatoes. 
or this dish, which is a lot of potatoes, and they want you to cut them up really, really fine. Um, as you see, 50 gram chunks. So if we cut a potato up here, yeah, we know. I'm walking over. We got one, two, three. And I need to cut it the other way, you know, of course. And this doesn't ever want to cut. That's the problem. We're cut with a damn butter knife over here. Look at this. Nope. Enough of you. I'm not even going to mess with that. Down there. There we go. How, how many grams is that? That's uh, 11 a piece. Oh, they want bigger ones than that? 50 gram chunks. Oopsies. Okay, so less than that even. Well, now we know. So how about this? Um, not sure how this is going to go. Okay, what are you? You're 25 grand? Okay. 150. Literally in halves, it seems. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Oh, set that knife down. Don't burn the damn pork chop. They'll lose their minds. We already know this. There you go. There. We oh, nice little technique there with the flip on that. How do you like them apples? Throw Get rid of this. Get rid of this. We're losing time. Oh, my God. Okay, it was uh, 90 seconds. 90 seconds. We got it. E for use. Let's just do 70 on this one. We'll keep an eye on the pork chop itself. It's it's cooking pretty fast. Uh, it's going to be a plate, so we'll get the plate ready to go here. We're going to miss out on these potatoes. We got to get these potatoes in. Uh, the potatoes are going to be bad, I have a feeling. They're going to be real bad. Uh, back to my knife. Remember what I was doing here. It's all about task work here. There we go. I mean, the potatoes aren't going to be good. We already know this. What are you going to do? Let's just grab it. Let's just get this over with. I'm going to cook all the potatoes. I, I never do this one well at all. Oh, don't do that. You got to just be perfect with your little hand grab here. Otherwise, it'll throw the plate down. And you got to also be careful when you're walking because it will actually drop your potatoes down on the floor, which is terrible. So you got to watch out when you're walking here. There we go. Come on. Give me a little help. There we go. Middle pan there. You go on. I think it's 90, 80. 80 for you. Okay, sweet. That'll work. All right, keep an eye on this. This has got to be almost done. Yep, we're looking good here. We're looking good. I mean, the potatoes are going to be screwed. I guarantee it. Absolute trash. Oh, I didn't throw any salt on them. Well, we'll put salt on them after. <laughs> that sucks. All right, how are we looking here? Pork chop. Almost done. Come on. I'm not going to get good technique on this one because it wasn't right in the center, I believe. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I've got I've got faith in you. All right, 80 seconds on you. You're going pretty quick. I've actually tried on a stream to throw salt in when it's in there. You, it won't let you do it. It will not let you do it. So uh, what are you going to do? Okay, you're almost done, right? You are now done. Perfect timing on that. Put you there. Put you there. Kill that. There we go. Pick up that pork chop. We're going to plate it. And we're ready for potatoes. Come on, potatoes. They're getting nice and crispy in there. Look at that. Looking yummy. I will never again put a fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Yeah, probably a bad idea, I would imagine. I would imagine it would be. Uh, these are the fryers. I haven't used the fryers yet at all. You can fill them and empty them. All right, yeah, we know. We know, we know, we got it. Put you down. You're done, you're done. Potatoes are definitely done, we can see that. Uh, pull out the tray. There we go, We're careful with the tray now. All right. Over here, can we? Oh, you can just dump the potatoes that way? Yeah, let's, let's try not doing that. That might be bad. Um, let's just throw them on here. Oh, jeez, come on now. Yeah, this is going to be a bit much to do. Um, and the pop-up windows on top of that with it. Yeah. These potatoes are terrible. They're not going to like them. Oh, I didn't salt them. We'll throw a little salt on top and hope for the best. Oh, the worst cook ever. That's all right. Sometimes you do all right, and then some dishes you just can't execute. And uh, I certainly cannot execute. Come on with this. 
certainly cannot execute it. I'm just going to give him all the potatoes. You get all the potatoes. You get a mountain of potatoes on top of the pork chop. That's what you're getting today. It's very tedious. All right. Well, the plating looks like a five-year-old did it, but you know what? We're just... <laughs> We're walking it to the wind. Don't drop them. Set it down here. This is going to be terrible. This is going to be absolutely terrible. <laughs> what do we get on this? Hey, not too bad on the taste. Not too bad. What did they not like? Let's see. Um, baked potatoes. Not us. Oh, I didn't salt them. We actually have been all right with that. Heating mistakes on the pork chop. Okay, well. Maybe we need a different utensil for that. Huh? This was the last order for today. When you done, prepare for tomorrow. Mm. Okay, well, that's pretty much that. Skip cleaning phase. We don't need to do that. Um, we, we need to do is uh, put this under here, run some water, make it nice and clean. There we go. Nice. There we go. Just like that. Um, and I think this has water in it, doesn't it? Uh, looks like it does have water on it. Let's see. Yeah, that was water. That's okay. Let's put this in here. Come on. You got to find these little nice spots for it. There we go. You go in there. Um, and then we can clean up the rest of the stuff by putting you over here. Putting pretty much the kitchen back together how we had it earlier today. When we all started. Um, that's pretty much what you want to do because when you continue the game on, it remembers everything. Where everything was last put, it remembers it. Now, I don't know how this works. You can do that. I don't know if the soap works. I don't even know. I don't even think you can even clean the knife. It won't let you clean the knife. Um... That's good to go. The pan needs to be washed. Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of all this. Yep. We're making a mess in that sink, but that's okay. Put you in there. Uh, do it again. One more time. One more time. There we go. And dump you. Uh, pan's good to go. We'll throw that up on here. Uh, those need to be cleaned for sure. Um, well, you know what? Here. Okay, I don't even think you can clean that one, so I'm not even worried about that. Certain things can be cleaned. Certain things cannot be cleaned. Uh, 102 mils of that. We'll just put it up here. You've only got 100 mils in you, so mm, that's all right. We'll just leave it there. Uh, not the greatest thing we've ever done. You are 297. I think you're all out, aren't you, up there? Or close to it? No, you're 490. Okay. Well, I don't remember it all then. Okay, well, that's not too bad. We made a huge, huge mess over here. So here's what you can do. You can pick up your sponge and you can uh, start cleaning by hitting E when it gives you the option to. E for clean. And then this is kind of terrible, like the amount of uh, camera views you get for cleaning and scrubbing things. You can't really see too well. That's kind of a peeve. Um, yeah, you, it doesn't like to give you an option to clean. There we go. Right there. Get all this off. That looks nice. You can't see anything in there. And then when I come over here, good luck. Good luck here. Um, Man, they just road rage all day long, don't they? You see, you can't get it clean. There we go, right there. You have to get it just right. And then we scrub that all out. That was all nasty. It was like that sunflower oil. Never want sunflower oil and everything. Uh, but you do have to keep your kitchen clean because if you don't keep it clean, it's kind of a bad thing. Uh, since they do have health inspectors in the game. Grab you. Come on. Let's clean all this nonsense up. There we go. It's like visceral cleanup detail now. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice and clean. Oh, we got a potato on the ground. Potato down. Uh, put it back where we got it. Crash down. Pick up this potato. Come here, little potato. Little potato. There we go. Sweet. I mean, that's pretty much done. Pretty much done for the day. Well, folks, I'm going to end things here. Um, let's go ahead and hit skip cleaning phase, and you'll see what it does. It goes to the end of the day. We're on day eight. Fame went up. Oh, did we get another Michelin star? Tomorrow, we're getting inspected. See what I just told you? It's a great chance to raise our fame. Be ready. And you are greeted with your level stuff. I'm a level eight now. New perks are available. We can go to choose perk. This is the perks that you can uh, get. I have steady, or no, I have, um, what do I have? Thermal vision, no, long reach. I thought I had some of these already. Um, it's the ones I didn't 
Okay, yeah, I don't I don't have these yet. Uh pick selected, one perk. Hold down that to freeze items in place while cutting. I uh, get additional three skill points instead of unlocking a perk. Unbreakable plates, unbreakable bottles. I haven't broken anything yet. That's kind of crazy. Long reach. Let's do it. Pick selected. Uh, skill points. I have three of these. I'm just kind of filling these out as we go. Um, so I'll level up there. Um, experience boost level up there. Uh, yep, you. Or no, you. There we go. Start next day. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm to day nine. Well, if you want to see more Cooking Simulator, let me know in the comments below. If not, um, I'll just check out the amount of likes it has and uh, do what we normally do. Oh, baked trout, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you next time. Take care.